This is Dr. Gus Stern and Alex Devaye at Maryland Vision Institute. We'd like to go over how to prevent the Clarion autonomy lens leading haptic from becoming straight. The key is to store the lens between 64 and 73 degrees Fahrenheit and to also allow the lens 30 minutes to warm up in the OR prior to insertion inside of the eye. This allows the lens to be more pliable and bend properly as it comes down the cartridge towards the tip. But there always will be instances where the leading haptic has a tendency to want to go straight and we will show you some tips on how to prevent this from happening. The key is to identify the instances where that leading haptic is going to want to go straight and take corrective action as early as possible uh, so that the uh, haptic doesn't become straight. Here we can see that that leading haptic is not catching on the side wall of the cartridge and it's going to become straight. So what you can do is just simply put your second instrument inside of the eye and block the path of the leading haptic from going forward while at the same time depressing the device so that the lens moves forward and the second instrument acts as a as a barricade uh, to prevent the haptic from going forward and pushes it back into the proper position. Here we can see that same lens uh, is now in the proper configuration uh, as it goes inside of the eye. Uh, this is another example of the uh, leading haptic wanting to go straight and the key is to try and catch it as, uh, as you see that straight line in the cartridge there. Try and catch it up as high up in the funnel as possible and that makes it very easy to reposition the leading haptic and prevent it from going straight. Here uh, it's probably a little bit too uh, proactive uh, in trying to push it uh, back into on top of the optic, so you do have to get it a little bit further down uh, inside of the cartridge, but here you can see I'm advancing it and uh, putting it into the proper position. And this is the final example we'll show. You can see here high up in the cartridge that that haptic is probably not going to catch on the side of the cartridge and uh, fold into the proper configuration. So we're getting our second instrument into the tip of the uh, cartridge there, um, positioning, it, positioning it such that it blocks the path of the um, leading haptic uh, from continuing to progress so that it's in a straight manner. and we're just um, putting our second instrument in the path of that optic and uh, continuing to uh, push the uh, lens forward with the mechanism and getting it into the uh, perfect position. If you do find yourself in the situation where the leading haptic is straight, Alcon recommends that you rotate the device clockwise, advance the lens until the haptic is completely outside of the cartridge. Once the tip of the optic starts to come out of the cartridge, rotate the, t rotate the device counterclockwise to exactly its initial starting position and then advance the lens until it's inside of the eye. 